Welcome back, everybody, to the Wyndham Orlando Resort here in the Tourist Trap, Orlando, Florida, a stone's throw from Green Dolphin Street Prison. I am Admiral Funk, joined by Dolphin Tano. Uh, you got a Florida-Georgia connection. The bracket's been representing a lot of that. But uh, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling just fine. I hope you're feeling just the same. Hope we're ready for some stand Russian action. That's here, right. right. We are bringing you the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle, our top eight tonight. Uh, we got a very interesting sort. Like I said, big representation on Florida and Georgia. However, we do have some uh, some repeat faces if you recognize from last year. So on the winner's side, we have Ajax going up against Elon Nu. Uh, and then on the other half of that slot, uh, the winner's side, is it's just Magarna and Ricoline Insulin. Take us down the lower, the loser side. On the loser side, of course, we got Mad Pog, absolute classic of a uh, whole horse player. Of course, going up against Bombay. Then we got the orb, and no thank you down there, lower half of top eight. Yeah, interestingly enough, Ajax was slated to do this block with me, uh, and uh, yeah, had to throw the surrogate in, and that's cool, you know? Uh, we got a nice flex here, Dolphin Tano, very knowledgeable, um, and um, you know, a welcome character in the community, uh, local to the 404 scene, yep. um, where there's a lot more representation. Like, Tampa doesn't have a lot, despite how many Florida players there are, um, but it's good to have you here. I'm, I'm very glad to be here. I'm, I'm not quite as loud and brash as the rest of the Atlanta boys down there, but <laughs> I, I, I'm just glad I'm to sure be we'll here. I'm sure we'll hear them. There they are. There, there they, they are. are. There they are. Tell them. Uh, yeah. That's right. If, hey. <laughs> if I incite them again, I got to pay somebody. So, you know. Yeah, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not going to take too much longer. I think we have all the players corralled, uh, but it's been a, a pretty interesting day. I think. Uh, Magarna um, was a, an upset to get through um, and uh, making it to the winner's side, so, along with Ajax. Ajax, I don't think expected to, to be through on the winner's side, oh. uh, but fantastic Vanilla Ice player. You'll see them soon, um, along with Magarna, one of the whole horses. I think we had four in, in array here. A um, lot of gun-heavy uh, violence that we've had between Mista and, and Oh, yeah, today. we're going to see a lot of that with Rico and, uh, with Rico and Mad, or not. Yeah, Rico, Magarna, Gun, uh, Magarna. Mad Pog. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, guys, I, I hope you've been enjoying all of the tournaments that have been going on today here on Titch.tv slash Tampa Never Sleeps. Share out the stream. We have not yet started a match, but we will soon be hitting you hard with the action. Um, you know, so stick to the, the homo and beat and, uh, you know, ride with us. But uh, how have you been feeling? You were playing today. I was playing today, and I think I'm, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how things came out. Just cut, cut out a little bit. Got in the top 16. Nice. So uh, I actually lost to one of our top eighters. No thank you. Mm -hmm. Very, very well, very well spoken, very well knowledgeable final Pookie player. I yeah. think they played both, but they were playing final against me. Okay. And, you know, that was, that was the finality of my tournament run. I so. think in another match I saw early uh, Pucci. Pucci, of course, was uh, added as a final, as a free DLC, right? Uh, they weren't part of the season pass in the, in the first one. It, it, it's actually funny. Fi final Pucci is what they started out with back in the uh, 2013 original release okay. of All-Star Battle. And then, like, because the Part 6 anime was airing, and right. I, I don't think they wanted to spoil people, so they added Pucci with just White Snake as his own character mm -hmm. for All-Star Battle R. And then they added Final Pucci back. After right. The game, so Sea Moon Pucci was a late addition. Um, ironically, the original game <laughs> was a part of it. Um, and uh, him, I mean, him and Weather Report both. Yes. Him and Weather Report, right? Uh, and now Weather Report's his own character. Sea Moon's his own character. We got a lot of separation. Um, DLC's been coming out. At the end of uh, last month, we had the most recent patch, 2.1, uh, which introduced Abakio to the cast. Yeah, um, we're now at, what, 55 characters? Something around that mark, yes. Yeah. It, this is a absolutely stacked roster. Just about everybody you're playing in this game has got someone else, got new tricks. Always got to be watching out for it. Very deep game. A lot of uh, character options available to you. Um, spanning across all eight parts of JoJo to date. I mean, uh, nine, of course, JoJo lands in progress. Oh, yeah. Who, who, who knows if we're going to get a character from that? We still recently got one part eight rep. I wonder. I mean, uh, season two has uh, one less character one less character than the last one right. but right now we've got a Baku we have a part four character coming up no te no telling who that is All and right, another part eight run at last so look forward to see who that is all right approaching the stage right now we have Elon on the left side there Ajax on the right uh, so on the player side we're gonna have <laughs> look at the ATL crowd <laughs> A lot of pride in them. Ajax, of course, represents Junk Food Custom Arcades. Uh, El Presidente out there. 
and uh, a well-versed and well-active uh, member of the, the JoJo's community. So it's good to see him make the stage here, breaking out into the top eight, uh, diverting the path a bit. But you'd rather be playing in this than talking about it. Yeah, man, I know, I know it. And on the other side, of course, we got Elon Knoll, very, very well-known player over in uh, Seoul. Mm -hmm. it's last year's runner-up. Last year's runner-up. It's always nice to see him out. You know, I think he might be a prospect for first place, but we'll have to see if that bird can fly. Yeah, um, Elon, uh, like I said, came in second place last year, CEO Taku 22, part six, the Stone Ocean uh, <laughs> divide here at part seven. We don't have Max Sev, the reigning champion. Oh, so yeah. that does open the way uh, to a victory for Elon if they can continue on this path uh, here in winner's side. So uh, neither player is going to get eliminated from this match, but you want to you want to ride as far into grand as you can. Um, next one gets them into winner's final. So we'll see how this turns out. So we got Ajax in with the classic vanilla ice. Two very frosty opponents to both of them. Pet shops back again. Screech got nerfed a while ago, uh, <laughs> but the squaw still echoes in everyone's hearts. They have a button check on the Cairo Bridge. Um, that's one of the new stages to this game. I mean, I, I, I think it was in vanilla. Oh, okay. I think so. Oh, that's right. It was a. It was an audible at the Evo build, but it was part of the game originally. All right, no problem. Gonna make sure we're situated. Uh, and our buttons are working. Um, Pet Shop, uh, although it appears to be a flying character, does have full hit boxes down, or hurt boxes down to the floor. So you don't have to worry about too many gimmicks on that. But uh, you gotta worry about other things. You know, the ice traps, the, um, the grounded and aerial uh, throws of the ice. Oh yeah, he, he does have a flight mode, so you've gotta watch out for like air dashes and He's got some great buttons up and off of the land, so look forward to seeing if uh, Cool Ice Brags uh, several unblockable moves, so you really have to be watching out for uh, for what that character is doing and, and avoid uh, the real danger. But I think we're ready with just a retry. Really convenient addition to the game. <laughs> you can go right to the button, check into the match, and here we are, round one of our top eight. CEO Taku JoJo's is our adventure, all-star battle art. Very early break from Jackson. Obviously, he does not want to have to deal with too much of this pet shop pressure, but we're already in the vortex. We'll be sure to, to update the names. Uh, player two, again, is Elon New. Uh, and player one is Ajax. That's damage here, got a good juggle. One thing to watch on the combos in this game is there's the same move limit. Uh, you are capped out at three times in a combo, and it causes a, uh, a reset. Yeah, like a, so a soft knockdown mm -hmm. is what you'll end up with if you use the same move three times in combo. Right. A soft knockdown is techable. Um, you hit the, uh, the dodge oh. button. Not, not, uh, not techable. Not. Oh, not that one? Okay. You, you got to hold that. I thought I was in the pack. Uh, yeah, I don't believe so, but no problem. A very interesting strategy from Ajax here going into the, uh, the stand on mode. It gives him access to like every move becomes an unblockable with uh, pre activated. He's trying to use that to avoid all that. Light, all those scary buttons from uh, Elon. So you see just how dominant this pressure can be. Just freezing. OG. Elon loves to float above the opponent and throw the spikes. Make him <laughs> faint high and then hit low. Oh yeah, and cancel into that GHA. That's gonna be the that's gonna be this particular game here. But yeah, pet pet shop. An absolute master of the air. Like they, they can get wherever on the screen you need them to be. And Elon is just a relentless attacker. Mm -hmm. Makes the absolute most advantage of that possible. And clearly a blistering fast game one win claimed by Elon New. We pulled out. Elon getting the first hit here. Oh, very Ooh. nice catch with that command grab. It's not the most damaging thing in the world, but it gives a little bit of health back in all of the counts. Right. Um, cool Ice is a vampire character, so you get a bit of sapping uh, off the opponent if you that, if and you, that. that. And you do get a little bit of gray health. Vanilla Ice is fortunate in the fact that he's got, like, he's tied with the most health for any of these vampire characters, so he's got quite a bit of a chance. Coming in handy there as, as Ajax is taking the combo. Reset and still trying to track down Elon, take him out of the sky. You got to clip those wings. Very solid, stylish guard. Oh, Ryan has a wall push. 
these arenas are rounded. There's no actual uh, true corner, but if you get a wall push, they aren't really going too far from there. Um, and the pressure from Elon, as you said, Dolph, relentless. Yeah, Ajax is definitely in a difficult position trying to pull this bird out of the sky, knock him around. And Vanilla Ice does have some good buttons to try and manage such a thing. Like his numbers are exceptionally effective. But if, they're not, if they don't reach, what can you do? Oh, what a nice stylish defense, stylish guard. If Jackson gets one of those uh, light DPs, he gets a free cancel into AJJ, and that's an extreme nice. chunk of damage, especially for a character who's what, it's light on health. Oh, that puts it back to full health. Oh, with stylish guard. So you can just defend to get a stylish guard in this game. You can also hit uh, down, dodge, and light, and it's a manual input. That, that's correct, yes. So you see that white flash, you know that they got lured into a trap. Oh, and use the version of the ball that tracks. Hey, that's clapping back. You see the energy, he's rocking in his seat. ATL is getting hyped. And that is one thing you can, like stylish, you can stylish guard to avoid unblockables, but if you're in the air, you're as helpless as a bird. <laughs> I love it. Big pressure. PCs, similar to Roman cancels. Use one bar to, to reset yourself into a neutral. Well, one thing I keep noticing that I want to do is he's getting high enough in the air that all of his grounded attacks are not visible. All those ice spikes you keep seeing, it's still very easy to get tripped up on those. Keep the toes off screen. Very clever. Uh, Elon, of course, a very savvy uh, video game player. This weekend alone, took claim second place in DD Tag, claimed second place in Idol Showdown. This is a well-rounded player. Came in from Seoul, Korea, and is trying to do his thing. Ajax with oh, this two high him. Okay. Round's not over. Oh, that jumping medium is just, it lasts for a million years. If he's falling in the air, you've got to respect it. Ajax completely out of resources, has no assist uses left. Uh, meanwhile, Elon has one assault and breaker, but gets the cross and a 2-0 victory. Advancing in the winner's finals, Ajax sportsmanship finish. That's dramatic, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, we're great love it. We're great sports here. We love it. Much respect to both of these players. Ajax did his very best. I love to see it. But Elon, Elon just got that unbeatable offense. Just constantly rushing in, out of sight, in flight. Yep. Hard to find answers. Ajax is able to get around, uh, but not like game. Um, and uh, Elon continues to, uh, to move on, terrorize, and, uh, you know, loom ominously above the opposition. <laughs> so I think we're getting our, others win our other winners match, which would be uh, Magarna and... Uh, Magarna and Rico. And Rico, yes, Rico Lean Insulin. Repping type 1 diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> But no, this is going to be a battle of Sony. You got Rico, Guido Mista, gunslinger of the Italian mob. This is the Wild West master himself, Magarna. I like Magarna's outfit too. Really uh, embodying the whole horse spirit. Has the nice cowboy hat. He's, he's got whole horse's hat. That what is whole horse's hat. It is whole horse's hat. Okay. So attention to detail is important here. I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Players getting set up. Um, likely gonna transition into a button check. So um, have a little bit of time. Man, CEO Talk never fails to impress. It is just a lovely event, always, um, you know, um, giving you, just paying homage to the influence of anime culture. We have the Wawa approaching <laughs> Cloud as a part of the motif. I can't wait to see uh, part eight's design, um, what they come up with next. We got the swag dance, ATL, Doug and Rowdy. And uh, not only really Atlanta, I mean, this is a Discord reunion. Oh, yes. <laughs> SJRZ and uh, ASVR uh, chords. Uh, have a lot of players that are represented in here, um, some that haven't made it to top eight. So the crowd is very lively with players that are deeply invested in this game. Yeah, from and Pennsylvania trying to, see some to quality matches. From Pennsylvania to Puerto Rico, we've got reps from all across the world. Here to share our love of this incredible game, underrated game. Where 
almost there to our Gunslinger Showdown. Uh, once again, Rico and Insulin, uh, repping Mista, and um, Magarna playing the whole horse. So uh, while it, both of these characters have guns, their game plan is completely different. Can you tell us a little bit about that, though? Oh, yes, yes. Whole horse in general, he's, he's far more of a typical zoner between these two. He's got very easily charged up bullets. That, and he gets to rush in, do major amounts of damage with very little meter. Guido Mista, he requires a lot more on the execution front mm -hmm. because his stand, sex pistols, you have to load that into his gun manually. That's right. And while it, they do give his bullets buff, like whenever you get them all in, it's just a lot more to manage than the yes. players. But they're both devastatingly effective fighters. So, um, I mean, being an anime focused event, we know another gun character in Happy Chaos. Uh, there's a little bit of a hazard on these, but he has an unlucky number. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the bullet in the chamber oh, yeah, is he, very important and part of that mental stack. Oh, yeah, he, he's unlucky chaos. It doesn't come up too often, but when it does, it's a pain because we don't miss the. It's a supernaturally strange fear of special four. So if you have four bullets left in your chamber and you're getting in a block ring, you lose a meter. Man, it, it can affect games. Both of these characters have strange gimmicks. Whole Horse, if he's fighting a female character in this game, <laughs> he, he gets he gets more meter and does less damage. Ah, that he, <laughs> the Casanova mode. Yeah. Right, we can, Man, we're going to have to wipe the setup down. He starts from <laughs> Magarna. That knee from Mista is an invincible DP, but Magarna staying just out of the way, hoping to get their pressure back. And you just, you just, just help melt away. And having those bulls primed. That's for hit. Not setting up the Ogi bullet very often. Uh, it's a difference of tactic. You can see it now. Um, kind of like a Nokia snake thing. Like, you know, <laughs> just trying to uh, give him rope a dope before the bullet lands. Oh, there it is, that unlucky number four. It does affect the meter a little bit. Here we go. He's got to take care of. Misa's HHA hit. in particular oh. is a super effective. Oh, very nice the dodge. The bullet kickback. That's going to be a response. Oh, a nice dodge. This is a two and a half uh, D game, so um, without oh. Nice. OTG, GHA. Great heat attack. He uses two or three levels. Uh, depending on which one you use, gives a little bit more damage. Uh, but this is more than enough. What an expression. <laughs> Hannah Barbera, dramatic finish. I love that. <laughs> it's not as involved as some of the other ones, but the sound effect makes it worth it. Yeah, that stage. I will say another key difference between these two characters. Like, they both zone, but when it comes to, like, dealing with other zoners, they've got different strategies. Whole Horse, he get, you get super bullets with one press of the style button, and those go through pretty much every projectile. And then... Your projectile and vulnerability with Misa it depends on how many bullets you have in your chamber. So mm. I would say know. pretty clearly Whole Horse has the advantage when it comes to just straight zoning. But in the heat of battle, it's not zoning 100% of the time. That's true. The zoning only goes so far. Once you get the hit, can oh, you maximize? You, you, you just saw it there. Eight that bullet. Mm. Right out of the sky. Well, he's, he's getting a lot of trying to over. As a cannon on sex pistols, they can like kick the bullet and redirect it. Very nice. Completely ignoring that Ooh. shotgun blast of uh, AJJ. Man, if all, those, if all those pellets hit, it does a major chunk of change. I love a good shotgun special. <laughs> Honestly, proximity equals damage. Oh. You see there, Mista can do a little bit of OTG on the ground with those gunshots. Get a little bit more meter if it's needed. I've seen Mista hit up to five of those. Like, I think that's their caps out. But yeah, you can you can milk it for minimal damage, but... <laughs> Picture like Mista, attack. like uh, Mista Foo Fighters, they make major events off that. Mm -hmm. Oh, very solid break. Had to get right out of that. Nice. Oh. Quick lure. 
The dash hop is like a KOF height, um, so it's a very manageable approach, and you maintain that speed, so you can kind of zip over uh, a missed attack from the opponent if you time it right. Oh my gosh, what a combo. Bonus is just incredibly solid with these whole horse fundamentals. The important thing about Whole Horse 2 is the fact that he's technically a two-player fighter because he's got a buddy <laughs> hidden in the shadows named Centerfold, Jake Isle. Yes. He gets to shoot a bottle of glass and summon his buddy off the floor. And in certain situations, it's it helps with combos. It stuns your opponent when they're not expecting it. It can even break out of combos if you set it up right. It's Perfect a very scary tool. <laughs> what a professional. Players ain't casting. We got it. He did retreat. Full Harris has a bit of a special dash. Um, he can run in the direction that you uh, you double tap, but you can also do the skip, just like a quick drop. Um, Dolph was talking about earlier, well, how quick he can retreat. That's a part of the character trait, so he loves getting out of a sticky situation. He doesn't want to be part of it. Oh, what we just saw there with Mista is that that little tiny bit of health, he enters resolve mode, which means he gets armor on his feathers. And that can be the difference between a round and mm. we'll, we'll have to see it come into play later. Oh, Ricker. he gets the it. taunt combo. There it he is. Nice pick up there. Rico Lean. Yeah, that, that's, that's a, another quirk of this game. The fact that taunting and styling on your opponents is a central element. Yes. Once per round, you can restand the opponent by taunting while they're hard down. They used to steal a whole bar. Like <laughs> they had to, they had to neuter that a little bit, make this game more <laughs> a little less kusa gay, right? <laughs> it still has that heart. Though. Oh, what a nasty cross up from Magarna, throwing out that assist. Oh, and look at that help! Help! It's not dead, but it's darn it's close. Difficult. Nice defense. Oh, but he's not blocking the low. Persistence was the name of that round. Magarna just kept the attack. Riggling could not breathe. It's very fortunate that Rico's got an, uh, he's got an assist with two breakers available, but if they don't recharge all the way, what's the point? If Magana just keeps laying on that pressure. That's okay, wants to get that extra hit. Now to Max. GHA. That's a cash out right away. Load up. One of the most damaging level threes in the game. As I said, Sex Pistol redirecting the bullet, making sure it hits home. Yeah, Cure is like a Morrigan assist. Uh, when you use it, uh, it gives some meter to to you, uh, which of course you can put to use like <laughs> like Reclaim just did. Uh, but it does have to finish, so you have to let him do the full performance. Do not interrupt the star as he's musing. Right now again with these nasty cross-ups. Disgusting damage there from Magarna. Securing the 2-1 victory. Booking their ticket to CL on new and winners finals. Well played set, 2-1 victory. So contested and uh, man, did, did we lie to you? <laughs> did we not say we were gonna have some good matches up? You're gonna have a nice character variety, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, you know, you shoot some shots, you, you miss a couple, but then you land the big one. You fire, sometimes you miss. <laughs> I forget I forget that one Game Grumps tangent, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> But no, up next we got losers round one of these top eight bonanza. Mad Pog versus Bombay. Mm -hmm. We do have another one of those aforementioned possibly four whole horses coming in, ready to take their shot versus Bombay, who's been sticking with the cars. The king of the pillar man. I did see uh, Bombay switch to another character in order to make it out into uh, top 16. 
Uh, and I want to say that was... Uh, I think it was Rizzo. No, it wasn't Rizzo. Uh, that's right. I, when, <laughs> when we talked about it earlier, I couldn't get the, the name either. But they were against the Fugo, and uh, it was a similar character. I, I space, but just know Bombay has other weapons. Oh, yeah, ba Bombay was mo probably most well-known for playing the Zapelli family of characters. Yes. William, Caesar, Gyro from the alternate universe. But they very much branched out as of late. Yep, yeah. so another repeat performance, uh, or repeat stage uh, attendee, Bon Day, um, got did? No, no, no. I, I, I think he did better than that. Uh, I will confirm it just shortly. Um, I'm talking, they got seventh. Okay, so they got worse. But still top eight, still getting a medal. And once again, this is no different. Medals for everyone that is on stage, but they are fighting for the trophy. May the best player win. I'm still interested in seeing what character we pick. Do we go with the ultimate being? And we do. Kara's whole horse is going to be the uh, the first character pick. May see it change, but you know this is what we're starting on. I will say, Kara's, he does seem at first like he would have a tough time getting around all these bullets, but he does have a teleport. Yes. It's a little bit slow, but it's something that he has. He's not quite Wamu where he can cloak himself and win and just completely avoid projectiles. But Bombay's going to have to work her way around this maze. A well, shout out to soundtrack to this game, too. It is... The soundtrack's so good. This is part of theme. Yes, uh, it is. Yep. It's as underrated as you get. So many, so many bangers. Uh, 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 uh. Well, checked. Our hands are on deck. It's part two, part three matchup. Bombay starting right off with those lows. So easy to just forget where your feet are. Nice. And that's the Oki, like you said, using the teleport. Up close on a knockdown is also pretty useful. Pause getting mm -hmm. out the Emperor, throwing out projectiles as free as he pleases. Deciding not to dodge. Could be a choice. You know? Prefers where Mad Pog is hanging right now. Bombay is still trying to work their way in. Oh, and nice. Gets the dash jump in. Oh, and a very nice stylish defend on the uh, uh, J-Guile. So they're going to have to burn one of those defensive uses. Oh, so smart. He Bombay had to flash cancel to make sure they were safe. They are ready. It's time. Oh, here it the ultimate life form is here. Right at round one. A very different move set, so it's a whole new beast. Uh, not to one, be trite. Things, cars, uh, he, he does get flight. He gets projectiles to contest the whole horse a little bit. We don't talk about the tentacle. <laughs> the tentacle. <laughs> but no, it's, it's an entirely different life form. Very much different character. And Just it persists, as, deadly, as you can see. Starting round two, still in that form. You stick with it the rest of the match if you get it. Carbon defense. And they just get to completely fly right over. Bad Pog had to try and adapt, throw out a bullet. Now we're back in the ultimate life blender. When I think Mad Pog's out of defensive uses too, so he's gonna kind of have to eat the situations that come. Okay, in case any of our audience blinked, Cars did just make his hand do a squirrel and throw it at a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a nice catch with the super bullet. Oh, Capitalized. Oh, that that's something he only gets in Ultimate Life Bar mode. That command normal did have some armor there. Well, it's something, it. something else to think about. You notice the blinking red underneath Bombay's life meter there. There is a guard gauge in this game, and if you're not if you're not thinking, it will break on you, and you will be getting punished. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, Madpock wasn't able to capitalize off of it. A little too far to do anything. Um, and then Bombay sees the opportunity as soon as it rose.
I don't expect Mad Pog to, to get off of this platform as this whole horse ride or die. So he's just getting the whip button and turn the space on Oki. Timing is key. Oh, there's the... It's caught. And then throwing out the Gappy, Josuke from part eight assist. Trying to get that cross up. Very smart. Very smart, very smart from Bombay. Nothing personnel, hole. Oh, Mr. Demeter couldn't get the extension. That's okay, though. But now it's Mad Pog's turn. Set up, no need for a setup. Just gonna ride through. The whole horse has excellent knee speed. No need to bend anyway. Once again, those breaker timings. Mad Pog's gotta rethink it a little bit. So, um, in, in case you aren't, uh, I don't think we've explained this yet. The assists on the uh, the side of the characters uh, are their backup characters. The blue icons are defensive uses, pink are for offense, and uh, you get a set number depending on the character and type of assist they have. That is correct. Sometimes you have one off one offensive and two defensive, or it's the other way around. Sometimes. It all depends on the character. Subject to change. They change it all the time through patches, so you got to keep your eyes up. Yeah, here though, he's been pretty fortunate to stay two two most of the time. Lots of consistency there, and the GHA on the ground. GG striking back. Mad Paw is gonna go ahead and even up the set count. That's a nice smile. Be proud of yourself. You did that. <laughs> you ain't going down without a fight. Knock him off the cliff. Make him hit every branch of the ugly tree. You know. <laughs> Uh, thing. Most of the stages in this game are about the same, except I think there's some small little things in the Everglades stage. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're probably not going to be on that. Uh, we're in Orlando. We're not worried about that. Right? Eight down in the swamp. Oh, super I'm smart, Mr. Bell, really getting out of that setup. Okay. Oh, but the orientation against the wall caused that shot to miss. Drop the combo. Sick heavy there from Mad Pog. I like the movement, make him balk at the, at the decision. The wake up level one, just not yeah. hit. Ooh. I think we're used to those manual direction changes. That was pretty nice. They clearly interested in playing a more defensive game now. Now the set is on the line. Yeah, it was, it was pretty pivotal at the uh, the first round or the first game. Uh, Bombay was able to get the ultimate line. Too. I feel like the transformation shifted the match, and Mad Pog, by de denying that change, was able to reverse fate and get a two-one victory. Nice play there. Put the red stone back in the jewel case. Can't beat Lin. But no, what a great, great set between these two. Mad Pog advancing on. Bombay with a repeat seven. Unfortunate, but great play today. Got them onto the stage and here today for you. Um, thanks again for tuning in to CEO Talking 2023, part seven. Uh, we're here at the Wyndham Orlando Resort. I'm Admiral Funk. This is Dolphin Tano. Uh, we have been bringing you the action. Uh, we're three sets in. I'm um, going to bring you the other losers match here shortly, uh, which will be the Orb versus No Thank You. Oh, yes. Very, very well-known Koichi player. Tiny little devil, very effective at landing in pressure, and has a dangerous status effect in three threes, which, like, pins you to the ground. Yes. Versus No Thank You, who will very likely be playing the final version of Father Poochie, the main villain of Part 6, White Snake King, that can, in fact, advance all the way up to the ultimate, the final made in heaven. And that's see if they can speed that up, make it a reality. I can, I can personally attest to no thank yous, devastating effectiveness. I had just gotten into top 16 when mm -hmm. uh, she knocked me right back out. Ooh. So, 
Get yeah, ready yeah. for some completely unbiased commentary. From your Very powerful <laughs> player in the orb. Um, uh, mainstay online. Got fifth at Frosty. Um, out of a 64 player bracket. So, you know, similar waters we're waiting in right now. I think it was 66 was the final count here for the, the Taku uh, ASBR bracket. So, um, you know, battle tested and combat proven. We all got that battle tendency in us, don't we? Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nice reference. I'll let that slip by, but you got me on the layup. I love it. Just checking, getting in the zone. It's so easy, just jammed his guitar though. Both of these these players have great hair. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. No thank you, got the, the slick curl, the waves. Waves on swim. Both of these players, no conditioner. <laughs> the only thing that matters up here is the wind condition, my friend. That's right. I was about to put on conditioning too in a different way. Who can set the pace and condition their opponent to give them what they need? which is a win to continue on in the bracket. That, and I mean literal win condition too. I mean, Koichi got that oh, three freeze status effect. They'll pin you to the ground. You don't get to run. You don't get to walk. You don't get to jump. You're stylish, you get stylish to guard. Yeah, you get to walk at least. They're not going to put you in the full. <laughs> They're not going to cinder block your feet. But yes, as you said, you're, you're uh, at a significant disadvantage uh, once that three freeze is put on you. Yes, and of course, the final Poochie 2 has a bar to fill all the way till you get to Sea Moon which is a advanced form, different move set, tons of unblockable moves. And a third form still made in heaven, which means your opponent ends up in a very dangerous position against the fastest being in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure universe. It's a devastating thing, because final Poochie on his own is dangerous enough. And uh, speaking of status effects, Poochie has one. Uh, steals that disc, and it locks out some, some move options. Yeah, it'll, it'll lock out your special moves if you get hit with the uh, if the HHJ or a command grab. Final, final group to stand on there. So Orb is going to have to play a very patient game to watch out for that. I love the cannon assist in Yukiko. Uh, <laughs> she Ryan. comes to his aid. Don't touch my boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, grab. oh, but they messed up their. Uh, they were going to flash cancel there and do a special move to try and affect uh, three freeze on the. Uh, no, thank you. Did not quite get it. Something to look out for too is that just a few strikes can really whittle down your your guard gauge. Uh, so no thank you has to be uh, sure of when to and not to block. Uh, but there, that was a time. <laughs> Got opened up. The orb taking round one of the set. And we do see here, whenever uh, think he gets the opportunity, we see that we see that little diamond gauge down there right next to the super meter. Start pulling up ever slowly. Have to build up to that sea moon. But is Orb going to let them get the chance? And one out. Sets out Keicho as a wall. Keicho with that company, the attack assist sets out the landmine. Uh, so it's very dangerous for an approach. Koichi dispatch, but yeah, it was good to get a couple words in. Koichi now four away. Orb is very lucky to get that disc back. That's what this form of Koichi is in particular, to try and get your opponent as far away as possible, then build up that meter for C-Moon. But Orb is staying right in the his face. Does not want to give him an inch. Ooh. Orb dared no thank you to hit a button. No thank you took the challenge. It is paying the price. Ooh. Blasted us into, <laughs> into a transition. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, a little stank on that dramatic finish. Or taking the lead, taking the first step towards the win with the game one victory. Thank you with the character switch. I see I see they were so confident in their white snake Poochie, they're moving all the way to the character built around it. Mm. It does, it does give a lot more options, a lot more potential to steal things away. Like it can steal meter usage. Like of course, you still steal specials. You can just lock down your opponent in all kinds of crazy ways with this semi-grappler. 
just absolutely beat the person. And closing the distance as a grappler to it. Bum rush out of the gate. No thinking for it. Reset, and there it is. It's mine. That's right. Very smart flash cancel. No thank you, Spar. Oh, and that's another command grab. Leads combo. Oh. The three in a row? Wow. Uh oh, a whiff. That's going to punish. Yeah, it's too close. And no time for recovery. But still, he's hanging on to a pretty hefty life lead. Oh, there we see the effects of three freeze. He was just, so thank you, was just stuck in place. Unable to get back and continue that pressure. The counter GHA! Yeah. That is a devastating technique in this game. Every character with a counter super like this is doing <laughs> a heavy, heavy chunk of damage. And Koichi does not have the health to live that a lot of the time. We don't, we don't have any uh, Diabolos in top eight here, but if we did, oh boy, we'd be seeing Ooh. some of that mind melting madness. And back in it with this continuous pressure. Oh. SD. Very dangerous. Blurred out the stylish card. Gonna put him right back in the three freeze. No, oh, thank you. Looking rough. Early round win. The orb untouchedness. And the OTG with the Yukako assist. Very well played. Gets the perfect in response to a win. No, <laughs> thank you in round one. Crazy game, too, so far. The character changes really making things interesting. Very smart move. No, thank you. Just canceled right into that super. Oh, oh. reaches. He's so very far. And the lunge. Look like you had some acceleration. <laughs> I said that is a devious technique from No Thank You there. Using Kira Assist, which slows out an explosive coin. Try and get more blocking so they can't do anything about the command grab. Mm, set up your own lockdown. I love it. Both trying to make their way in, but no, it's caught again. How much pasta are we cooking with this boiling water? <laughs> and round one, No Thank You. He took the fight to the orb. The orb actually approached No Thank You and set up this opportunity for No Thank You to even up the set count. As I said, it is wild. That is crazy. This is a trial. Everything is a test. It is. And I can see No Thank You is pretty close to passing it. Some very, very impressive adaptation on her part. No, thank you. Stealing themselves by uh, oh my God. <laughs> reciting prime numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw right there, Ford tried to do something that was now locked by the disc. Oh, well, they did get it back. Now it's time to get in and start playing the game. Oh. Nice response. A nice flash cancel there. The micro chess match. Little step back, bit of boxing here in neutral. Yeah, they both got some decently effective projectiles, so they can play this game. It's not massive damage, but it's a pacemaker. Getting these uh these projectile hits. And here and there, it gets a chase off the flash pencil. Still not able to get fully in, but there it is. Finds a command grab. No thank you starting to cook. Oh, they were oh. they were waiting for a breaker to come out so they could uh Stylish guard it and keep up their game. Oh yeah, God, there it is. Hit. One hit and retreat. So savvy. And now the assist is in cooldown. Oh, but they didn't get the chance to continue. But oh. they use that nasty trick again. Penny for your thoughts, Mr. Koichi. <laughs> Finally getting their game going. Letting that three freeze. Right. Lock no Close. thank you down. And of course, because they use that breaker so early in the match, they've just got to sit there and eat this constant pressure. Mm -hmm. And so the block, no thank you, opting to just stand and block. 
Good decision, serving well so far. Playing from behind a bit, but surviving. That's important at the moment. We do see Orb is being very careful with these super long buttons that Koji has. Oh, the level three, there it Cut is. Scene. Level, level one, I mean. Oh, Orb. I think Orb is being cognizant of the danger of that counter super. Mm -hmm. They just do not want to go pressing buttons willy-nilly all over the place. Yeah, hey, run up throw is a telltale sign of that. <laughs> you know they have a counter? <laughs> that is what it is. We just got his own counter. It did not quite work out. They start up Orb forcing that out that Akira Breaker again. One of the biggest strategies in this game, getting your opponent to waste their resources like that so you can start going in and playing without remorse. Right. Get them to run the pockets. Very smart. Absolutely. Taking that throw. Nice. Knows that there's two meters, so the GHA is a threat. So Orb is again adjusting the game plan to that. That projectile, that sizzle. Oh no! Very nice cancel of the HHA to avoid that breaker entirely. Oh, and had him pin against the walls so of the back dash went nowhere. No, oh. no meter, no specials. The That's orb is in a dangerous spot, and they press the GHA. Can they do that? They can. Wow. Taking that Pink Floyd music reference right out of Koichi's head. Hopefully she's got 20 minutes to listen to Echoes. <laughs> but no, incredible set from No Thank You. Incredible set from The Orb. Yeah, it's a in incredible work. Between the two. Great. Love it. Two, one, turn around. Uh, looking at this mix of controllers, but that's okay. Um, while that's going down, it's us again. Welcome. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it. I'm loving it here. I am happy to be here in Orlando once again for CEO Taku. Always marking my calendar off for the next one. You guys should too. Uh, Start.gg slash CEO Taku. You can check all the brackets that have gone down this weekend, including the, uh, the Street Fighter Top 24. You wanted to see how that turned up? Go check the page. You want to see how Idol Showdown went down? How uh, Elon made their way to second place? Go check out the page. And share out the stream, twitch.tv slash Tampa Never Sleeps. That is where you are watching us, Admiral Fogging Dolphin Tano. Yeah, both players. Man, my, we're having a great time today. This is my first time here at CEO Taku, and I can tell I can tell the audience at home, it is just a blast. I've had such a great time here, looking at all these artists, watching all these games. I, I, I could not be happier. And, I mean, even if you're not a player, like, just all of the events that are going on, the 24-hour Jabali Land Arcade, um, today and tomorrow, they're having a Maid Cafe experience. Uh, they have a designated area for it. Uh, there's another uh, suite where there's a massage parlor. You can go get, you know, you got some turning nerves. You know, you're getting trying to get relaxed before your top eight stage performance. Go get a, you know, get, get a little shoulder cramp. See if you can feel a little better and, uh, you know, approach it clear-headed. Um, but there are games to try. Uh, I went to the Indie Corner. We had uh, Pocket Paragons um, exhibiting. Uh, we had Throwback, which is a high ally game, uh, kind of similar to Lethal League. Um, it's it's high ally based, so it was, it was very interesting to have out here. Um, and yeah, like if you're not going to be a competitor, a spectator's badge gives you access to so much, and you can be right here live in the crowd to watch a match like this: Rikalin Insulin versus Mad Pog. That is our loser's quarterfinal. Loser of this taking fifth. Winner of this advancing. We, we know Rico has already got that whole horse experience. So we're going to have to see if Magpog can change up the game, play in a different way to Magarna, and sweep Rico right off his feet. <laughs> or no, blow him away. That's the gun pun. Right, right. <laughs> button check in progress. Uh, like I said, the UI um, very accommodating to this. Uh, having to retry right in the pause menu. Uh, you can get your button set. Already have your characters chosen. No need for really uh, recalibrating. Uh, you know, a lot of games like to start you in a set position. You're like, oh man, I got to maneuver back to my stuff. No, retry. <laughs> We're back at it. I, 
out, out of all the minor things this game doesn't have, this is a luxury game. Mm -hmm. Got to get it. That's true. We don't have rollback. We have a quick restart. And we take what we get, I guess. We, we do. We do SJR CMO, sir. And we're thankful for it. I, I Make no mistake. We're thankful for all of this. This oh, game yes. is incredible. Yeah. Very fortunate to see this intro because this game has so much fan service in it. So many characters have custom like intro lines for each other. It's Mortal Kombat almost. Oh, almost. A little less bloody, but oh well. But you already see, you're already getting. Oh, oh! He missed. Tried to get the restand. He missed the taunt he was going for. You are unable to cancel taunts once your <laughs> your path is set. Oh, he completely whiffs the uh, breaker there. Bad hog going in. Center bolts. Uh, just game. It was just a diversion. This one's real. Oh. Nice multi stylish. Turns it around. Evade centerfold. Nice grit there shown by Ricolin. A trade unfavorable. Now low. HP. Say one benefit Mista to has. Like, Mista has automatic tracking on his fully charged bullets. But all six pistols are in there. That is going every which direction. Oh, big push. This could do it. Playing from behind. Nice comeback there from Rico in round one. Oh, and that's sweet. That 2H goes quite the distance. Oh, that ball gets caught. That was a reaction. <laughs> that was not anticipated. That was just and vision. We, and, and we just saw right there how those uh, super up, souped up bullets from Whole Horse hit us eat other projectiles. Rico was firing away. Completely ineffective. Oh, very nice. Just to defend there. Oh, on again. Just getting slippery. No pun intended, but. Man, he's not really been clinging to, <laughs> to Rico when Mad Pog wants him. Mad Pog getting the restand. Oh, thank goodness for that breaker. That was good. that could have been the round there. Fortunate there. Got the knockdown there. Now sidestep has some time to plan. Doesn't convert to any damage. Still hanging in the round. Had to come back in round one. Can they do it again? Mad Pog trying to say no, you will not. I'm making it happen. Even rounds. Game number one. Nice. Very cautious with that Oki. I would say your uh, two L, your lights, your crouching lights in this game are very, very important tools to have. We've seen so many combos already get started in this very, very important button. Oh, he's taking oh. it for a spin. Jumped over time. Oh, it's still there, but nice defense. Oh, but he gets caught by centerfold. Yeah, the knockdown went away. Set up a new bottle. Ah, well, they, they didn't have it in for all those hits. Reload, timing up. Next pistols gets interrupted by Mad Pog. Rico on life support and it grabs all it takes. Incredibly smart from Mad Pog. Just forget it. Forget the forget the zoning game. Running right up. Yeah. Stabbing and grabbing. <laughs> Legs just as important as the trigger finger. Never forget. Yeah, that's one up for Mad Pog. Oh, Rico's invincible DP just got stuffed completely by that super bullet whole horse. Mm -hmm. to start, pushes back towards the puddle, so the threat is present. Let's see how much brutal damage whole horse can lay down. Ooh, and it reminiscent. Gets up perfect with the grab. Came game one, playing an untouched round in game two. Mad Pog's looking pretty great. Boys to get this win. Rico has something to say though. Let's see. Oh, that was Again, that, that Josuke assist putting in a lot of work. But Rico does have a pretty solid uh, invincible option in HHA. That contra spread gun putting in work. And in that double. 
two. Oh, couldn't get the second. That's okay. Hold on to the healthy lead. Is that too far to the right? Is that going to confirm? Is that going to connect? It, it is. is. Yeah. But Rico Smart holding on to that breaker. Very nice grab. I'm trying to keep it tense. They're keeping my heart rate up. <laughs> Pressure. DC to keep the... <laughs> The barrage incoming. Oh, that that dodge from Rico was a very risky move, but it paid off. It, it does have some end lag, and it can get caught by some moves. But if you're smart, you can make good use of it. Nice defense. Rico with their back against the wall. Showing us something here. Nice. Let, I can grab two. Uh, grabs are just any two attacks for the record, so it's pretty easy to, to do no matter where your hands are on the button. <laughs> it's that, too, and it gets rid of assists that happen to be on the right. So going into that little cutscene can be very effective. I like how consistent he is at <laughs> punishing a horse's shot up close. You get the point blank, I'm going to beat you on numbers. Got to be that consistent against a player like Mad Fog. Absolutely. And to make it here to this stage. Maybe I'm oversimplifying. That could be it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, the, the full screen taunt. We go with two bars. Map Hot standing one is for the PC. Gets in close. This last Rico's breakers. Oh the whip my down. goodness! Rico does it. And a fist bump mid set. I love it. They're having fun up here. We are too. Let's hear it for these players, man. They're doing great. How y'all feeling? Yeah, Orlando. Being very careful. Trying to figure out which one wants to approach first. Rico throwing down that Akira assist to get that meter. Because they need it because they're stuck in lucky number four, losing meter with every hit. Oh, got rid of one, but still. Considering how much of a meter monster this thing can be, it's just very important to make sure you got a clip on that. Three, four, get the six. Oh, but what a cross up with that jumping heavy. That throws off your timing, right? If you're, if you're on the ground even longer because of these other things. Double AKJ! Oh, wow! Really are contra up in here. Momentum shift. Rico's feeling pretty good. Oh, it took the bullet for a cure, but a cure got hit. Playing so cautious. Those auto tracking bullets are helping Rico very effectively. And all this back and forth, these players are basically equal alive. Almost 20 seconds in, still pretty much a stalemate. No one with a clear lead. And we're getting closer to that one touch range as they whittle each other's health down. It's getting tense. Mad Pog needs a round to stay alive. Rico needs a round to win and advance in the bracket. Auto track. Fuck up that close. Oh, nice catch. Cancel the AJJ. Oh, he whips. He's on his way to the ground. Oh, no. Oh, Composure's the there. Anyway. And Rico does it. What a catch from Rico. True to life, the Sex Pistols don't care. King, Queen, Emperor. They don't give a crap. <laughs> Love it. Rico said, I'm only getting burned once in a row. I'm not going to lose the two in a row. I'm going to come down on losing side, knock out my opponent, put them in fifth, give me a, a, an opportunity at a better position. Well played there. Crazy set from Rico and Mad Pog. Our other hell semifinal is going to be coming up. Ajax once again. Yeah, man of the people. I heard he has some gifts for the crowd, too. So oh, yeah. Ajax, my favorite. But doesn't need it. Ajax is already beloved. ATL behind them. Junk food behind them. And of course, we've got the returning no thank you. They just wipe those discs, scratch them right up. 
No, thank yeah. you, actually, from the uh, the location of Green Dolphin Street. Uh, Dave E. Floor? <laughs> 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 Very interesting. Gotta appreciate the cameraman showing off the Wawa on the mural behind us. <laughs> you know, they love con season. Man, Ajax's path to get here defeated Shinobu 2-0, defeated Makoto Hikawa 2-0. Crazy run to make it to this point. No thank you, defeated Skyblaze, Sweaty Palm, um, defeated Beat Blue Felix. So they both had a, uh, a run to make in the Widowmaker that was this JoJo Star Adventure bracket. No thank you, only enter JoJo. Only JoJo at this event. There are four of the players in our top eight that have only entered JoJo. They came just for this, and it is everything for them to continue in this bracket. You love to see it. These players' hard work paying off. Ajax also entered Mortal Kombat, got a little bit of a sample of the other competition out here, but this is what he's here for. <laughs> TL says the crowd. Vanilla Ice back up again. Stop. Collaborate. Listen. <laughs> I, got, I, got to, I got to hold myself back, not chant with my voice. <laughs> you can. That's fine. The energy is welcome here. It is in abundance. But I can catch some Ajax just completely ignoring that stylish defense. Look how much health is gone in 90 seconds. Man. Vanilla Ice is a killer character. A chiller and a Ooh. killer. Logan on it. Keep on the ground. Oh, just backdash the command grab. Very smart. No, thank you. Oh, and of course, Vanilla Ice does have an invincible DP that they can throw out. Always a dangerous thing to try and throw out when people try to set up Oki. But nice interruption on the assist. Yeah, we'll get some damage. Can you get the run up? No. That's fine. One oh, touch. The, the light DP just hits Keijo instead of its intended target. The thing comes out at 15 frames and goes 50 miles an hour. Man. Rid ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, oh this is stolen. Nice. <laughs> he, he stole win mode. He stole the win condition. So that um, is the status effects we're talking about. <laughs> Round one going to Ajax. Oh, gets caught with that command grab. No, thank you. Had a ray of genius there. That was, it couldn't have been a better time for them to be locked down on moves. The result was the same, but you see the gears turning. Oh, that's a dangerous move to get hit by from any version of Poochie. That jumping heavy causes a ground bout to reach some big combos. Oh, TP punish. Every game has a problem. <laughs> Here we go. Let the damage rack up. Doesn't have a breaker. Cannot escape. Only halfway to the restock. So you just got to watch this movie. You mean this movie? This feature film. <laughs> Passion of the Christ. On the full-size laser disc? <laughs> oh, so scary, Jack, trying to get that disc back. If it's just sitting out in the open, I mean, it will disappear if it's just left alone for too long. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, nice catch that grab. Oh, the wing condition is still not back. Oh. oh. All right, even it up the rounds. Another Listen. hot game, number one. Look out. Nice escape. That is unblockable, so you got to avoid it. Very nice. avoiding. If you can get an SD out in time, just completely ignore the breakers. They get thrown your way. Do business like that. Uh, down disc removal. Look at the baby. Nurture the baby. Getting your technique sealed was double trouble blade for Ajax here. He's got two meters to think about. Moves that involve uh, vanilla ice to stand cream. Like, that has its own meter. Mm -hmm. Those are locked whenever. Uh, Poochie gets that disc taken away. And very still smart. a disc down. Oh, that could have been very dangerous. It actually threw out Akira, which can oh. serve as a little bit of a body block. 
take a hit when one desperately needs a hit taken. Oh, oh what a setup! Instead of taking the spin, <laughs> the launch, let them land, and then set up an unblockable into the GHA. Taking the life lead for the moment. What can Ajax do with this? This could decide the first game. Nice touch, nice breaker there. Oh, the heavy, oh. the heavy command grab is risky. That's all true, the combo did not drop. Ajax and Passion was really feeling it. No thank you. Knew that they were escaping by the skin of their teeth on that. Very slippery villain actions. No breathers. Gotta finish this vanilla ice cream. I'm hungry. No thank you being very liberal with their breaker usage. They just do not want to have to deal with all this vanilla ice breaker. Right from the start of the game. Nice catch with that just about seven frames standing uh, standing L. Nice. Yep. Going to get the mosh pit action. Rockstar going on, getting the beat down in front of it. This is general admission. Oh, it, oh, it missed. Fine. What a oh. weird angle there. It was a ruse. Yeah, very smart back dash from No Thank You, completely ignoring that command grab. Nice again with the grabs. Get that down damage. Of course, that that command, uh, command normal 3H. Very <laughs> useful for building a meter. Oh! oh walk up DP! Pedro was not ready. He was not ready to body block, body block for him. Oh? Huh? Oh, what's happening? Are we all right? All right. Uh, I think so Ajax on. <laughs> I think they both. Agreed to let it rock. I'm not a ref. I'm here to just call the action. This is the tournament of power, boys. <laughs> That's right. We're in the steel ball run tonight. Yeah. No holes marred on the wacky races. Gentlemen of agreement is the only currency we accept. And again, Ajax in a tough position. All those specials, all that stuff for cream is just gone. Nice. Only supposed one to one give Father Pucci the time he needs to build up Sea Moon. Oh, exactly ran right into to the Papa's arms. Nice snatch with the grab. They're both jockeying for it. <laughs> Either or just run up. Give him the quick grips. Oh, that's the body block we're talking about. Keicho did get in there that time. That was so nice, by the way. The full screen blowback to try and get more of those 14 words. Oh. I want to maintain the juggle. Oh, dun, uh, there no. it is. Pedro body blocking at last, taking that invincible hit. And again, an, an air to air against Fuji is a dangerous thing to be involved in because he does get full combos. Mm -hmm. Got right between Cream at the perfect moment. Able to get a full combo, still half stocked on the assist. But no thank he's not in any rush to get into danger. Gonna step back, read a couple words to the baby, and then resume business. Three away, this is the closest we've been so far. Way that does have the disc back. It's time to get back into the ice. Oh, there. Into the action. And again. After that whiff, it's enough to get you off with a block, like onto the, the uneven foot that uh, Ajax has been able to hit the follow-up, despite the miss. Grab. Nom, 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 pom, pom. Give him a chop, though. Boy! That's when that disc again. Making that comeback difficult. Limit the options. <gasps> the, oh, the mind. The mind. Bad Snatched right company. <laughs> oh wow. Ajax going down. No thank you with a 2-0 victory. Moving on in our bracket here. No, ma no matter what part of the bracket we're in, we're all a good company. So now we have our loser semis locked. It's gonna be Mad Pog versus No Thank You. Oh, wow. uh, we're gonna take it back over to Heaven's side. Elon versus It's Just Magarna should be up next. 
And as we get the players together, once again, you know where we are. We are in our top four. We're halfway through the top eight. There is still time to share out the stream, twitch.tv slash Tampa Never Sleeps. We'll be here waiting for you. I will say and we do have prizes for it. So in addition to the uh, the trophy um, for winning JoJo's, um, ASBR, we have a, uh, a manga <laughs> official uh, figurine for the winner. All you right. get a Jolene. Very, very so. fancy looking figure. Mm -hmm. I sure wouldn't want to show that to my mother. No, I'm just kidding. It looks great. <laughs> That's looks great. right. She's decent. Come on. <laughs> but yeah. No, they, that, that just gives you extra motivation. You know what you're going for here. You're trying to get the win, trying to get the prize, trying to get the girl, right? <laughs> <laughs> Some would say best girl. I, I'm not going to get about that argument, no. No, 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 no. That is a, that's a bit of mud we don't want to track in the house. No way. <laughs> but no, right here in our winner's Again, final. Again, with the whole horse hat. Elon still got to get something figured out. Taking a detour for a moment. But we will be underway shortly. Before you know it, we'll be tearing another page out of the manga. It's a Rocky's dream, a Rocky's vision. I saw also might have to make sure to uh, to remove controllers. Uh, that did happen in pools. Um, right. A pad player uh, reconnected during a match. DC uh, we never controllers. did find that scoundrel, but <laughs> <laughs> that has been a warning to the rest of the players. As you sit down to the setup, be sure to desync all the other controllers so we don't have a mishap. Correct. So just a little bit of player protection. That's for you at home. That's for you right here. All right. And here we go. Winner's final. Elon Nui. So I know Orb is a pad player, so might want to desync uh, while we have the opportunity. I don't think that happened, but you know, hopefully nobody sewed it away, right? No accidental button pushes. But this is a screen setup, so uh, you never know who's out there with one. Oh, we're up and to go into the menu. They're setting their buttons this way. Which still. Still good music all around. Like, every corner of this game has good tracks. Yep. Good tracks, great gameplay, better characters, so much personality in this game. Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun here, dog. <laughs> no, we ate that Wawa pizza tonight is what we did. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. It's after six, isn't it? We're getting the Wawa pizza, baby. No, we got actual pizza in the crowd. I see you. Ajax provided. Shout out to Ajax once again. In case you forget, check out Junk Food Custom Arcades. You know, hit them up. Shield the product. Oh, Show your snack box. Show your art. We Extra customizable. You love to see you. We aren't quite ready yet. They do have to go back out of there because they accidentally left stage gimmicks. Uh, yeah, they left the hazards on. That is not tournament official. It's just, just as much as some of the, interest, the, <laughs> the, the interactions are interesting. Uh, it is a little too jank. As we know, fighting games don't like Smash, they don't like Hazards, they don't like <laughs> <laughs> added RNG. Enemies to speedrunners and fighting game players alike. Mm -hmm. uh, long last. Got Bird versus Buckshot. Pet Shop, which is whole horse. I wonder if you can buy a whole horse from a pet shop. How much can you buy a whole horse for at a pet shop? Oh. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't They'll probably get you out of there. You know, like, no, we sell ferrets, <laughs> birds, hamsters. No horses here. Want to take except trade ins. <laughs> but I did see uh, Alan go um, risotto in a matchup. So depending on the situation, there have been some adjustments uh, to the character choice. Look, look Are we going to double blind? Do, do one of you guys need to turn around? Like, <laughs> Loki, one of the most exciting parts of the match is the character select screen. Yes. The bigger the roster it is, too, the better. I do like the low swell to the, the character select theme, too. Like, before you know the action is happening, we'll just start mellow. You know, the calm before the storm. Here it is. Rock, paper, scissors. I think Elon got that. But no, here we go. Four horse versus Risotto Nero. Risotto Koichi assist. Koichi was a... Uh, a uh, scandalous article for a little bit. Oh, yes. He had a ban as an assist for a while. Oh, yeah, because they had made a change to his 3-3 three -three status effect where you could not even, like, stylish, stylish guard during mm. So you were getting locked down for unblockables and all kinds of unfun mess. 
But they did fix that in the latest patch, so he is legal. Nice. Glad to have him back. He's too cute to be unlegal, you know? He's a nice, <laughs> it's a nice place. You're gonna love it. I, I'm awful good. I, I like to stay on that side of it. But this is Heaven's Final. Top three guaranteed to both of these players. Elon New and it's just Magarna jockeying for who is gonna claim winner's side of our Grands later on tonight. First strike going to Elon. Closing the distance. Keeping on the assault here. Avoids the breaker. Gets the combo, has the wall pressed. He's gonna make sure not to let the combo drop, but Elon looks in the pocket. And oh, Garner taking that unblockable hit. We'll say too, it's a very wise choice to switch to Risotto here. Very well known whole horse counter pick. Because his, uh, you press his style button and you go invisible. You're completely in projectile and vulnerable. Oh. So you're just running right past all that zoning. And I believe uh, the, the earlier time I saw it was against a, uh, a whole horse player. Um, Elon opted to go this way. Well, it's good to see it again. Good to see some character variety, because you know, it's been a whole year, the game's changed a lot. Uh, there have been some new threats and risottos among them. Someone say among? Uh, don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> Starting to get that chance, start wailing all that damage. Put the use of the uh, Risotto assist. Nice, and look at the damage. Magarna just packing on the pounds here, has a setup in tow, and that is gonna do it. It's such a tricky space to be in, too, because Koichi assist only has one defensive. One defense to use. Yep. So if you use that, you gotta sit there and take that whole horse of use the rest of the match. That's true. Taking just over 10% in that second round. Unshaken by that perfect start by Elon. It's round three already showing some sparks here. These guys are back and forth. Oh, nice. You might be projecting all the vulnerable. You are not immune to boots. <laughs> Nice oh. slide there, advancing and checking the legs. They were expecting the breaker earlier, so they gave up the rest of that combo for the yes. guard. Oh, the dash under, oh, not by hitting. Magarna stands still. Puerto Rico versus South Korea. What a match that we have here in our winners' finals. Oh, the GHA. It oh, wins. no. And thank goodness it did too, because if you get hit with the Risotto's GHA, we got the OTG. Perfect. What perfect? What's a Wawa's pizza? I Check the scoreboard. Dramatic finish. Mm. People love getting flung out of windows. <laughs> <laughs> Big win. Nice exhibition of composure there from Magarna. Takes a perfect in round one. Takes two unanswered to bring us to 1-0 in the set. This is three out of five winners finals. You know how it goes. Such a nice catch from Magarna. Converting off that Risotto breaker. Risotto assist. Nice. And the control there. You can see the side switching, but uh, this game has a, a pretty good degree of like auto-correcting. You can, as long as you're timing, you can let, you can find your hit. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on the characters you're playing. That's it. That's it. My oh, the GHA canceled. There it is. I was trying to talk about this earlier. Very, very scary move does a whole chunk of damage, mm -hmm. and you have to deal with the status effect afterward, too. Iron deficiency, because he's stealing the iron from your blood. You don't get to use meter, and three, you please. don't get to dash, and you have to sit there and eat that unblockable 20-mile yeah. away attack. That's actually really, really devious. The, the Koichi assist in, 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 um, adds on the, uh, the three freeze effect, and then that timed attack is a guaranteed hit no matter where you are. So if you can't dash towards me, you're just gonna take that. Oh, and you can also do what Elon just did, use it to bait, try to get your opponent to rush in and get you out of it. Mm -hmm. It can lead to some risky plays. 
Nice lockdown synergy from Elon with the assist choice. Nice. Metatica. There's Bay. Bagarin just going to check with Mr. Nibbles. Go with the cross lights. Just sweeping the R knockdown. No major setup, but still trying to get some attacks in. Still trying just in case. Oh. Just run up. 2M. That slide kick is so dangerous to deal with. Yeah. Maybe a little too indulgent going for the shots there. Knew that they were projectile on wall, but still kept trying at it. We have not seen a single defensive breaker from Agarna yet. They're just holding on to that. Huh. Very good point there, Dolph. Did not help there. As you asked for it, the timing was a little off. Challenge so far. Nagarna up one game, but down one round right now. And we'll see the, uh, the, the puddle for center forwards does not matter anymore because he gets the GHA. Two hits to GHA. Look, cruise to the guaranteed damage. No need to belabor the fact. Even if you have to sit and watch this whole cutscene, at least you know you're taking that game with you. <laughs> and Elon evens up the set count. One to one. And look at the sweep. Shout out to production here at TNS. Always crushing it. Dramatic shots. Keep the merchandise, the trophy there, the Jolene there. The players still focused, deadlocked, ready to continue in this winner's final set. Oh, what an interesting switch from Agarna. They've been messing around with this Jotaro for a little while today. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that affects the Rizzono matchup here. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, going with a projectile heavy character against a character that's a hard counter to that, not really strong. So, going to go to a character known for his fists. It's going to be pure hands of key here. Four Tara has a projectile. Three is just mitts. You know, Fortero is all about bringing fists to a knife fight. <laughs> okay, nice catch. That medium DP. One. Oh, got caught low. I'm blocking on that cross. I have that same issue. I got feeble ankles. I <laughs> continuously get clipped. What a catch and the conversion off the Guichi assist. Oh, you can't DP your way through that. And get close. Nice. That. That man normal is standing low, too. So you've got to be on your toes. Oh. I love a good standing low. If I just look at you hit your feet, I kind of want to play that character. Oh. Call me crazy. <laughs> I, I will say, though, this is a, it can be a tough spot for Jotaro. Vacuum. He's got to deal with projectiles. He can blow them away, but that's all he can do, and it does take time. We can struggle a little bit against projectile spewing characters. If he's got his fist in your face, that doesn't really matter. What a catch. Wanna block that? Nice. Very easy FC. One, two, three. Very nice. Completed all the resources. Elon was kind of just at the mercy of Magarna. Kukuichi just completely whiffs. Elon does not have another one of those defensive breakers for the rest of the round. We got another set of cannon synergy here with Magarna with the Kakyoin assist. Very solid execution from Elon here. Oh, that armored oh. hit grab! Just to Very completely smart. ignore that. Very nice. Magarna looks oh. learning as he goes. If this cancel into level three, it's going to put Magarna in a very scary spot. It's going to place him directly in the iron lung. <laughs> you know, no life to give here. But oh, the tech twin is not able to capitalize, but it's a little tough to change. The three meter did not want to do anything out of that. And he gets a counter, but it's still alive. Still an iron Still an though. Breath of Life and Crouch L. All attacks. There's no chip death in this game.
So as long as you have solid defense, you can hang in there for a bit, but you gotta block everywhere. Just throwing out those scalpels right in his face. With no effect. Nice. Down H with the standoff. Stand off and stand on count as separate moves. So you can't go into the same inputs as long as you're in a different state. It does not go to the same move limit. Correct. So, so much variety in this game's characters. I love it. Trying to keep an L on lockdown. The breaker at last. Oh. It's not capitalized, but it could be one touch. And again. So it's eight touches. And there's Magarna. Taking it over Elon. And uh, this is kind of a character lock situation, right? Elon took the win. Uh, but after the change, because Magarno lost game one, as a stay on Johto. So let's we'll see how the, the set evolves. It's yeah. a very interesting um, archetype change that Magarno went through. Elon's really considering it. Took a long flight here. So uh, no problem with taking a little bit of time to, to deliberate the game plan, of course. I see we're getting right not, back into... <laughs> it's going to be nowhere as long as the flight home if they don't get this win. We're going to pull when it comes to us. We love you too. <laughs> love it. Thanks for putting on the show. Let's see some more of it. All right. Yeah. I know Elon's back at it with the pet shop. Ready to see how this affects the matchup here. I will say, just like a lot of other characters, Jotaro can have a tough time dealing with the uh, constant flight pressure. Pet Shop. But one just plays patient. One has the... Make it through. Nice. We're trying to continue to find these opportunities. Big damage. Has two bars in tow. Let's see what they do with it. Are they going to take... Okay, just gonna offer the round one. Does not want to waste all the resources into round two. Gonna hang on to a bar and a half. See if they can find the hit. Oh, and they the do with the DP. That DP, that light DP is so fast. They got buffed this recent patch. Oh. It's such a scary, scary tool now. With some solid decision making here. What a. Oh, that looks converted. I would say this could be a risky move for Elon because Petrop has some super low health compared to Risotto. So there's like a thousand pet shop is closer to the 850 range. So. Yeah. Nice rising attack. Great way to stifle an aerial approach. Something in the tracks. And a now, through frantic play here, trying to overwhelm Magarna. Like counter. Lots of side switches, really hard to track, but finds the DP. Magarna trying to turn the tide. Starfinger not getting the second hit that will reel in, but keeping the wall. Throw again. Pull, no throw. The second pull, North Breaker. That's a big deal. Magarna oh. just having to deal with that jump in. As a roach here, we're gonna even out the rounds. Oh, oh and this! And, and this is it! The DAT! Magarna does it! You pissed me off! Hats off to you, Magarna. Well played there. <laughs> and you earn that spot in Grand Finals. Winner side. But excellent play from the both of them, though. Elon doing his best to adapt. What a, what a brilliant step. Yes. Constant back and forth. Masters of the game. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Pretty cerebral set, honestly. Um, from the character decisions uh, to the gameplay itself. Like, that that was a wild winner's finals. And, uh, you know, just another testament to how great the players are that comprise this bracket. Absolutely. It has been ill all day. I've been watching JoJo since 2 p.m. today, and I have loved every minute. Um, I'm happy to be here once again. It's Admiral Funk, Dolphin Tano. Thank you guys for tuning in to twitch.tv slash Tampa Never Sleeps. Share out the stream. We are still in our top four. Loser semifinal is yet to take place. That's correct. 
We're looking at some more very, very scary matches here with Rico Insulin versus No Thank You. Winner of that takes on It's Just Magarna, who went down. All right, I'm sorry. No, Elon, excuse me. Let me not misrepresent the player. Magarna earned that spot in the Grands. <laughs> I just stressed over it. How could I forget so quickly? Looking like a dumbbell out here. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. I hope everyone here has been enjoying their weekend at CEO Taku. I hope you guys have been enjoying the multiple streams that we've put on here. Jabali, you've done it again. And I am feeding the man's head. I know that's a bad idea, but I can't help it. He keeps bringing us blockbusters. Darn right. Darn right. There we go. Fina, the, the design. I, Fina, great work. Ninth place in Beyblade. Played very well at JoJo today. The designer that came up with the medals with the backdrop. Uh, didn't code the overlay, but the concepts, all part of that graphic designer. Phenom, we, we got an thank amazing the, cornerstone to these events. We got to thank the whole team here. Exactly, it's not a solo show. effort, as much as your Bailey claims it. So now, again, <laughs> you, I, I got I to backhand it a little bit. Uh, Sweet and sour. He's great. The supporting team is essential. Shout out to everyone from volunteers to bracket organizers to judges to... <laughs> Jamal and Joy House running the Beyblade, freaking arenas and everything. Everyone that has made this event happen. Um, I, I have heard nothing but appreciation uh, as I've been walking the halls. All the production teams, Funky P, CEO Gaming, TNS. Here we are for the Hawks, the semifinals. Rico versus No Thank You. The power of God versus the power of gun. Hmm. Let's see if you can take it out. Ever since Gun stepped on the scene, I think the, <laughs> the tide shifted a little bit. God still, he's, he's still more than just a bit. It's, it's an even matchup. You're saying this is 5-5. Five, five. But now when it comes to what No Thank You wants to do, it's ceiling. Sealing these special moves is a very important thing to do. It needs to rely so much on those specials with this gun mm -hmm. and the DP knee. When, it, when it's all taken away, what can Rico do? Mm -hmm. A couple dunks here. Fuji gonna lock down some options. And a distance. See if there's a Minesweeper champ here. No, he's gonna let them walk away. It's still present. Look out. Nice jump over oh, run. Rico tried so hard to dance around it. And then finally trapped the checkmate. Oh, Keijo again. And round one goes to no thank you. We're already seeing just how much of a gameplay, extreme game changer it is to lose your access to your gun. Mm -hmm. So much of Mises' gameplay comes from it. Very nice block. No, thank you. But the guard breaks it last. Gonna push. Try and go for stage position. I respect it. Shotgun. And retreat. Getting a couple words in. They're almost there. The HHJ. Nice. Oh, and again, avoiding the breaker by going into a cutscene special. That was the first hits Rico took this round. But you can't count on Father Pucci. Oh! What a the fact that she... I will say no thank you. It's closer than ever to getting that Sea Moon out at last. And that is going to be the yeah, true test of fate. This is, to this point, the, the farthest we've gotten towards seeing Sea Moon. J.H. Whiffs. Oh, and that tracking bullet just completely catches the day. There's no escape. Good shot. Says the juggle. Gotta push away from Akira again. Just trying not to lose track. No, thank you. Nice there it there. is. There it is. He finished the bedtime story. See me here. <laughs> Bedtime story could lead to them tucking you in. Gotta watch out. 
such a scary position to be in. And oh, the bullet. him. The evasive maneuvers getting no thank you clip. It's very tricky. You work so hard to get up to that second form, but you don't have enough time to deal with, like, do anything with it. All right. Really tragic. <laughs> work so hard. At 14 words is a lot. I can't even count that high. It's especially tricky, too, because when you get C-Moon, you lose access to your uh, one-bar super, which does that ever-so-important steal and mm. hurts uh, pieces of gameplay so bad. Which is exactly why we're seeing, we're not seeing the Switch. Never mind. I thought we were going to see the Switch for White Snake. Uh -huh. We still believe in the power of God. All right. Uh, made in heaven versus made in Napoli. Let's see what we're cooking up. <laughs> All of the crowd. Keep that energy. We love it. Oh, keep your body blocking that DP completely. Now we go to trouble. Because you do have to actually hit and then back far enough away from Peachy to get you this back. Mm, okay. That is a long time investment. Oh, that, oh no, the shorts. Two else did catch. Oh, scary. Gotta love the waiting game. What a nice catch with the grab. Rico's on that last shred. Oh. Just kick sand right in his eye. Nice. Press the switch. Adjustment helpful. Oh, what a catch. He's trying to stall in the air with that gunshot. But it blew right back up in his face. Didn't get too far. So it was relatively unsafe, had to waste one of the breaker stocks. Oh, That's okay, so you got a second. Two of each on that, <laughs> that Keicho assist. Mirafield wants to get that disc back too. They were, they were dashing for it. Oh, Tyler Stodge played some <laughs> Rico against the wall. Yeah, that JH proved to be such a deadly tool. This is a oh. reversal, just as deadly. Okay, look right. at that guard gauge. This just shreds it. That's true. It's whittled down. We're recovering a bit. All right, out of the red. Nice recovery on the guard gauge. Just gonna stay still and hang tight for the moment. No, thank you. Life getting a little scarce, so. Can't play patient, <laughs> play patient, but we don't have all day. Nice. Finds a hit. Rico completely empty. The cupboard's bare on assists. We're still so you got to take what you get for this. Thank you. Oh, okay. The patience. The patience yes. on display. It's mind boggling. Okay. What a catch with a crab! Nice. Dare them to press an unsafe button when they didn't seize the opportunity to get close and get that grab. Nice play there. A very smooth response from No Thank You. I'm just so impressed with these two players. Incredible knowledge of these characters. Like, most people with Mista, if they lose access to that gun, mm -hmm. they're in deep trouble. Rico's making it work. That's very important here. Oh, uh, that whip did... grab could have been so, so much trouble for no thank you. Oh, with stylish guard not capitalized upon by Rico. Settles for a grab. Ooh, gets another grab. Stand up. You're, gonna hit. You're so close. You can touch. Oh, and early! Oh, with the air stall. And he completely avoids the mine. What a bonus. Nice dodge. Gives them a punt. And Father Poochie's in. There it is. 
finally getting that full combo that he was so desperate for. The steal. Did a couple Aesop's fables. And it's just three words away. Big deal. But Rico just so he grabs so much. Wow, nice, nice catch with a fully charged boy. Okay, an interesting spot. No think he's down one round, but three words away from getting <laughs> the realized uh, baby. They were trying to yeah. avoid the consequences. Here comes this pressure. Nice use of oh, the uh, splash cancel. The shot misses completely. It, it rotates off the stylus guard, so it <laughs> automatically missed. That was rough. All what a way to lose a quarter. Darn useful. Oh. Still trying to keep things airtight. I think you haven't been called for HHJ yet this round. Dodge away. It catches. Yes. Very, very effective use of that HHJ. Uh oh, I'm running out. HP2. Oh, it's auto track. Okay. Way to not do anything. Oh, the Cyrus Guard needs to dodge. The and that waiting. is the set. No thank you. Send in a prayer and it gets answered. <laughs> but no, e excellent. Excellent character knowledge on display from Rico. Just, just dominating with those difficult circumstances. Yeah. And great play from No Thank You, just constantly getting him right back into it. It's true. Tough ending. No oh. Thank You out at fourth. Rico. Gonna have to face off against Elon. Elon, of course, second place to see Otaku 22. Trying to improve on that. Rico trying to hold L on the third. Demoted. Will it happen? Time will tell. Also, shout out to Rico with the scare and the hose shirt. <laughs> I, I've been trying to look away from it all day, but no. Shout out to Peggy and Danny Brown. Put out a banger earlier this year. I, I like danced across the world. I was like, should I say it? But no, no I, I gotta pay. I gotta love it. You wear your band shirts to the JoJo's tournament, don't you? Darn, darn right you do. Yes. That's right. You gotta wear that merch. Rep your taste. Rep your taste. I know it's always gonna be worse than a Rockies. Mm -hmm. Can't beat the master. <laughs> but no, this is gonna be a very, very tricky set. Rico sticking with Mista. Elon taking it back to the pet shop. We'll say those tracking bullets probably going to play a very big part in yes. getting pet shop out of the air. That's true, but it's another projectile character. We could possibly see the risotto that we saw earlier as a response to a projectile threat. It, it's just as possible as anything. So. Absolutely. Another set of decisions for Elon. We see, of course, through the button check that we're we're on the patch off, so I think we're just going to hit retry and let this rock. Headsets are going up. We're locking out the world. We're focusing on the game. And uh, you know where we're at? We're at Hell's Finals, guys. Top three. Loser goes home. We are near the summit, guys. Three of five is the game. No more two out of threes. You have to earn it. Nice oh. PC there. Very, very Breaker patient. Breaker in time. Trying to minimize some early damage. But Rico able to find the, <laughs> the first significant strike here. I 
I will say. This is especially Freeze. dangerous considering how much damage Misa can put out. First patch off incredibly low health pool. Mm. Like just just a few touches, it's gonna be up. Nice catch with the polar F. Alright, on. That's oh, gonna miss again. Elon's kind of been plagued by those misses on the HHAs. It's unfortunate, but you know, you weren't out of the round yet. You're very close after that HHA for Rico Connect. Next hit wins, you have to assume. Oh, and that's is. the one. That one hit the tracking bullet, like I said. No matter where you are on the screen, that thing's gonna come for you. Yeah. Rico drawing first blood in her Hell's Finals event. Oh, the, uh, the jumping M did not autocorrect there. But Elon right back in the mess. There was again. Pressure, pressure. And then Pace Changer with a grab. Nice play. It's not huge, but these many interactions add up, especially in a longer set. Elon trying to leave him bewildered. Still behind on a round, uh, but trying to make their mark here early. I will say one thing to think about. Every time Elon's in the air, dashing after with those moves, those are all overheads. You can deal with that. You got to be low pressure. Low pressure you can't even see because he's so high up in the air. It is just a minefield of icicles. Ooh. Gonna take it home. It drops, it but the that lasting hitbox stuck around like a bad gold. But you see just how much damage two of those fully charged bulls did. About 25%. No. Final round of game one. Getting some damage here. Nice Oki, nice defense there from Rico. Tried to hang on as long as they could. The Silo Sage gets grabbed. Elon still on the attack. Tables get turned, goes right and the it does key, and this is, Oh my it's goodness. Low to the ground. Had a hole in their pocket, just lost all of that meter. Elon stand to the game plan. Getting some damage, gets a taunt re -stand. Polner up, gets jumped away. Nice escape there from Rico. Pressure down, keep attacking the leg. Or the space under the oh, bird. But the multi hits still got him. <laughs> Man, you got the SD and the multi hits of that bullet still took him that out. Rico's playing hard. As we're seeing the character select, we're going to take a moment to think. Get to calm, test our brains, mm. think about who in this game can turn invisible and dodge bullets. As far as I know, there's yeah, at least I think two that's, of them. A, that's a pretty quick decision you're gonna make. <laughs> Not really. We got we got two of those. Yeah. Thomas <laughs> said earlier, you can block bullets all you want, but you can't block boots. That's right. That jumping H, just doing a massive work. Look how much damage this is. Oh, and the whip taunt, quick. but no. He's able to block the time. Oh, blurred out the stylish touch. Had to burn a breaker. We feel so aware getting this combo off that absolute mess of scramble. Man. Relentless. An 18 second Blistering fast first game or <laughs> first round. Wow. Well. <laughs> Ella didn't want to disturb the performance. <laughs> Said I love that song. Keep it going. Yeah, this is a bit reversal, but it was so much work for Rico here. So much awareness. Not a lot of guard damage, so you can kind of block these strings and not feel too bad about it. Um, but the more hits you take, the more opportunities there are for you to get opened up. So Rico trying to get out of dodge, escape a little bit. Hey, what a catch. There's that last breaker from Rico. 
And of course, all this time we keep losing meter because of that unlucky number four, mm. which means less invincible reversals for Rico, but he don't need them. He's gonna go for this GHA. Not gonna kill. But it's gonna be super close. the time. This one connects, take two. There's Koichi Breaker at last. Koichi, Leon, hey, got the retreat. No more assist box. So that's a round for Elon. The quick back dash in the cross lights. I like the retreats. You can see it happening again there. Rico adjusted the approach, got close. Wasn't able to have it turned around, so that's good. And then finds a good hit against Elnaz. Gonna push towards the wall. Oh. Advance it. Does have enough time to flash cancel. Completely avoid that damage. Mm. Very nice SD there. And that's the response to those auto tracking bullets. You see why Risotto's come out. Risotto does get the chance to run up and get that GHA. Putting Rico in a tough spot. And both of these players going to get, trying to get them closer to a round, knowing that it's not going to finish it. But having that lead is another uh, mental burden. Having that lead and that status effect, because he's got to eat that damage. Oh, the low those three lights. Wow. What a catch. Strike, throw. What a mix-up. Same move limit works on a combo no matter how small. If it's three moves and they're the same, that's it. You're done. <laughs> it's so scary just watching him fall to the ground. Got to wait for another interaction. <sighs> and man, you don't want to leave those up to chance. So we're all even. Hell final, as expected, contested to this point so far. And that was smart from Elon too, just completely shutting down Rico's meter goal. We've seen how effectively Rico uses meter. Yeah. Alright. Kind of blurry, but uh, just outside of range hitboxes. And Elon has been getting the better of him so far. Gets that three free setup. gives me anxiety. <laughs> really does. <laughs> Look, the base heavy thrash. It, it just stresses me out. And <laughs> Rico's feeling <laughs> downward round. Still even on the set. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to a final round. Oh, the, oh my god! <laughs> <The body block. laughs> that, that taunt scared the hell out of me. Oh, and he gets the cross up, but not enough to really get much off of it. That's fine. That was a glancing blow anyway. I just burned a breaker. Elon appreciates that. You see how fast Rico has to mash to get all those bullets in there for each one of those shots? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Incredible technical skill. The reload is dependent on your input. How fast do you do it? So, uh, you know, Elon display a dexterity. See, Elon needs to watch that guard gauge. That thing is almost shattered. Oh, look up. I'm down. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think those scalpels might have been bait. Try I think so. Press a button. Tried to get them to move, and that was just enough. Open them up low. Kiss this opportunity in DHA. Brings the life a bit closer. Actually gives Elon the lead. Three freeze in effect. A little bit more damage to the Metallica. Next hit does it. I got to assume on both sides, Mista has two stock, or <laughs> two meter. Rico can find it, but still. A little stunned. Oh, it's just dancing out of the distance. Closes in and gets a grab. That's the thing, when you're in that iron deficiency, you don't get to dash. Mm -hmm. So you gotta stand there and walk around and hope and pray that he doesn't run up and try and pull that nonsense. That wind grows right, your ammo won't work on me. Mm. Let's try the boots. And we're sticking to it. Sticking to our guns, as it were. Mm -hmm. 
I do like the dancing. The footwork here from Elon has been great. Just testing. When's the approach coming? Red light, green light. It does feel like a constant back and forth between the two. Oh! That's the thing. All the work Rico's used to putting in for full screen is just made null and void. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be a constant up close and personal battle in this matchup. And is that much more important if those dash jump ins from Rico have a follow up attached to them? Um, if you hit that, that area a little too early, it can drop, and then Elon's threatening once again. What a nice, nice. use of that J8 to cross over. Quick reload. <laughs> Nice defense, highs, lows, jumps away from the grab. Nice play there from Elon. Rico finds a hit. It's not a long one. Gonna go right off of one strike into the DHA. So smart How too. Like Just needs to have that breaker. Wait. That is that DHA right out. Is, it's it not that? is that true? Hunter this guy. No, it's not it. Oh, no. It's darn close. Oh, and what a response for Rico. So I just started blasting. He was trying to set up that unblockable again, but he caught him lacking. Caught him lacking. He can get set packing. This is dangerous. Hell's final. Nice. We've been seeing that a lot too, the way those multiple hit and he gets the chance to run up and grab when he's not paying attention. Mm -hmm. All that little bit of damage, all that helps. That's true. Is it either layered offense, or am I going to wait it out and go for a grab? Check it out. Gets the grips. What's next? Breaker out. Akira diving in. Nice retreat, and then that sliding normal closes the gap once again. Oh my goodness, it got lost. Dash through on the juggle and oh, on life support. Elon's gonna get hit. No, he he's able to force cancel. Always has that one on toe. Retreat. Nice. That's too much end lag. Not gonna work. Has two levels. Oh my goodness. This could do it. Gonna fight. Oh no. Another glance. But that's right in. That's <laughs> Elon is pretty still sure. in the game. Better still, Elon's coming up to that. He's coming up to that winning point. Yes. Miko could be going back home. Yep. Elon steps up, dusts off set point, and says, I'm here now. Move over. Clear out your desk. Oh, what a nice catch with that grab. Rico's still slugging, though. Kind of turtling for the moment, but that's okay. Sometimes you have to retreat from the pressure. Elon's not letting up. Continuing to kind of impose all over Rico. Still untouched. That green health means that's a perfect they're working on. It's still early in the round, but Rico again finding themselves in a juggle scenario. And again, all these hits too, they keep activating that unlucky number four. That is less resources from Rico. He desperately needs them. Can it go under one meter? No. Breaks away just before. Still on number four. Drops down to zero. No longer has a meter to do a flash cancel, an HHA, whatever you want. You are out of options at the moment. Low on health. Elon's still on green health. Gets a touch. Rico's back. And it was momentary. What nice tech. tech. Solid awareness from Rico trying to hang on. Oh, my goodness. Look at the jump in. Gets pushed back. Last Koichi defense. Both oh players. No. no assist gone. <laughs> Elon does it. 3-1 victory says, I am not getting demoted. What you saw was an illusion. <laughs> nice. What a set. I took a bit out of L on. You know, I had to stand up. I had to take a deep breath. I, 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 can, I know. That was need a, any water? Need a Red Bull? I got, I got you all night. That, that was a gr absolute I got the grudge. Hierophant Green Edition. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, that was a grudge map. That was an absolute... Filthy, disgusting grudge match. And Elon's going to remain seated as they prime themselves, prepare.
to go up against Magarna, the player that sent them into losers. And uh, <laughs> a lot has worked very hard to get the redemption. Here's the higher flag green, the green yeah. edition Red Bull. I got the shirt. Yeah. And not a Kakuin in sight. What a shame. Not at all. <laughs> and see, that could have been maxed out. Could have, but instead, at home watching just like you guys here on twitch.tv slash Tamper Never Sleeps. Welcome once again to the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R Bracket. It is coming to an end here. We are at the final set. It has been incredible. I'm Admiral Funk. This is Dolphin Tano. And thanks again for being here. All day you've been with us. All weekend so far. You got another day coming tomorrow. So be sure to keep this page bookmarked. Keep it open. You don't want to miss the stream once it starts going live. You don't want to miss any of these moments. This set, this bracket, this top eight section that we've had, in addition to everything else, has been can't miss. Still jamming to the music. Right, right. <laughs> Still jamming. Yeah, we, we've seen some incredible play all day. Each yes. Players. I've, I've just blown away by the passion, the skill, the sheer love in all these button presses. Yes. Every whiff SD, every G GHA connected. It's been Wait a second. That third character option? Honestly? I, I think we're just button checking. I'm, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. That one that I saw, I, I was there with his finals. Honestly, after Yasu, that'd be very new. Nah, all right. All right. Uh, I, I, didn't, right. I didn't think we were going to see the anesthesia. <laughs> it's like two for flinching, guys. It'd be apropos. Someone's <laughs> fighting to win that Jolene, though. Yeah. Getting the Jolene, getting the trophy. Medals guaranteed for everyone that's played in the top eight here. But no, Magarna sticking with the Shout Jotaro. out to the Fallen Ones. But this is who we're here for. The top two. The finale. The climax. Feel that hormone beat in my chest right now. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm hyped. I'm excited. I'm ready to watch a grown man beat up a, a pet bird. Yes. Peta, close your eyes, because we're here. Here we are. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Grand Finals. Yes. Make some noise. Do you like it? Do you want this? <laughs> it's not going to be a laid out victory. We need to hear the energy. Feed the player you're behind. Shout it out. Type ones and twos for the player you like in that position. All the energies received. The spirit bomb is needed for someone because one of these players is going to be the winner. The other is going to be so close. They could have tasted it. I want to just make sure to completely avoid the Kakuin there. If you just glancing, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a real tough game if Alan ends up in that Jotaro pressure because he's just taken so much damage. Something as simple as that. Look how much percentage. Right. Gone. Oh, oh, the unblockable hit of Starfinger. He gets that and gets out there before the breaker comes in. I love that return hit on Starfinger. It's like T-ball. It just sets you up for whatever you like. I will say, considering how much considering how much whole horse Magarna plays, they've got to know how to deal with pressure like this. Mm -hmm. All these toxic projectiles back and forth. They got the inside peak. Both of these players rocking 2-2 two -two assists. Trying to make sure they have maximum utility in their pockets for whenever it's necessary. Now I'm finding themselves behind early again. Oh, Come catch with these crabs. <laughs> Back you. Oh man. Guessing game. RPS bracket was here. It's not in Jabali land, it's on the stage. You can already see such a scary level of, effect of effectiveness from Magana here. They are not letting this bird catch a breath. Mm -hmm. oh, very nice use of that uh, basically sumo headbutt. Try and get in. The oh. invincible or the armored hit grab. I'll be the judge. Oh, 
Oh, that grab whip, that could have been. I do like the white suit. <laughs> Joe thought I put it on his vest for the final. So many alt colors in this game are so fire. It's a shame we don't have them all unlocked, but you know, it's all right. We got plenty of variety anyways. Oh, very nice use of that super jump to get out of there. Yeah, once again, you know, shout out to Game of Gen providing consoles. And sending them a hell of a booth. Slinging all the CEO Taku merch. Oh, he still dropped that combo though. Oh, pull the ref. Had that body block wait. He's playing. Can you maintain this juggle? Nice setup there. Things looking good so far for Elon. A little low on meter. Doesn't have any way to cash out. Hits interrupted. EP. The vacuum's gonna pull him to the ground. They just fall out of fly. Nice lows. Oh, so push mix, push him right over the trap. And we keep seeing that DP putting in all that work. Oh, that oh. grab. Trying to back off. Safety. They're I mean, both in rumble. Damage enhanced. As if so the next Rodin's hit's going to have a damage. wallop attached. Oh, oh, he gets it. He finally gets in. Takes that round. You see that super jump cancel from Jotaro to try and back out of the pressure. Yeah. Woo. That DP is MVP at the moment. It is Can't. descending L onto the drawing board every time. Can't be easy to rely on though, so if L on starts predicting them. That's true. That's big trouble. You do not want to telegraph. Nice. Nice SD. They did not get the throw they wanted because Elon managed to get back into the air. Mm -hmm. Approach. Nice use of the Kakioni. Gets the launcher. And then Polnareff breaks it up. But I've seen enough. We'll stay. Elon's doing the very best to make sure that they're hitting that stand, too. Because having a stand on like that increases your hurt box. Right. Yep. Oh, wow, Just what a like way the to source material. It. A stand is attached to your life. Oh. Nice grab. Not enough to kill. Side to side escape. Nice PC to get under. Solid defense from Magarna. So level three. Who hits him to the secure GHA. that kill. I, I wonder if all that was needed. There were no breakers left on L on side, but that could have just been a nurse thing. That's true. Uh, the tensions are high up here tonight. Everybody's looking for every scrap of damage they can get. That's true. They had a very, uh, very taxing loser's final set right into this. They're still playing pretty well, even on rounds. Oh my, oh my gosh, Star Platinum still reaches. That health differential is so, <laughs> so notable. Like, I can't help but bring it up. It's 1,000 versus close to 800. Mm -hmm. Launch, no, <laughs> still in cooldown on Polnareff. Gonna take this. Oh, no, 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 stand volley. You gotta bring that down from the pit. Ooh, do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> God bless Dice Game. Deep oh, in no. the chest. Where is that? Oh, Shoot, I forget the voice actor's name, but all the VAs in this game are awesome. Yes. I, I, it all adds to and the they got all the anime VAs, too, to update. Right. Right. Because they didn't, like, when the when the original game came out, they didn't have official VAs yet. Because the anime was <laughs> yeah, I think they were still in, like, one uh, part one and two that first season when the, when the first game came out. Of course, the manga, uh, <laughs> a lot older than the anime. It's been out for just about 35 years almost. Crazy we to think about. We celebrated every day. Also, just as crazy as that grab. Elon trying to make sure that McGarner does not get a moment to start up this madness right here. Oh, no. stylish dodge. Still he keeps the juggle. It. Beautiful stuff. We're going to end the round. No, we're not. Going to keep the resources in the round oh, two. No. And yeah. still get the round one win. Magarna calculated. Elon got hit by that standing low, which is so scary to ignore and forget about in the middle of a block break. I've been hit by it many, many times. Point for Magarna. That invincible DP, just get out of my face, please. Oh, my God. Oh. 
on Ace. There you go, Elon finally getting that damage up. Pressure, nice war. We can get a stylus actually right out the stand. You see how hard they're working for this damage output. They do have that mobility four points. where Jotan only maybe needs two or three depending on what kind of round it is. Correct. But I will say Elon's making the absolute most of Petrop's mobility to get in and keep that damage going. Uh oh. I'll say up to this point, Elon's been doing a great way, uh, a great uh, job at picking up the pace, rising to the occasion, feeling the pressure of the moment, increasing the tenacity. They can find this hit, they'll stay alive a little longer. And they don't, not even getting a trade on that. Makarna still finding offense. Nice tech there from Elon. And Whoa. does it. One round on the board, chalk it up for Elon. Can they get the game and continue this run? Or will Magarna get that final round, end the tournament, and send us home early? I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh no, the <laughs> man grab still hits. <laughs> hit grab. Taking away that precious meter, such a Resetting scary thing. Receiving a grab. Throwing out Polar Breaker early. Finally uh, catches the DP, but does not get to capitalize completely. And Dolph, that was the, uh, the predictability we were talking about. And I want to do it every time. Oh, and nice timing on the stylish guard. Turning it around on that lunge. Not, not a polar F in sight. And you're 2023 JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R Champion. It's just Magarna getting their hand raised by second place Elon New. Repeat performance, great play. You love to see it. Puerto Rico over South Korea in the final. What a path they took. What a victory to claim. Part seven is yours. Jolene is yours. The trophy is yours. You've done it. Take it home. Man, salute. And a and bow, that, a respectful bow. Love the custom, love the respect. Every player in the top eight sees each other as a competitor. No disrespect here, only honor. And that's the way we like to end it here. That's correct. Absolutely correct. Man. It, it's all about the love of the game, the love of each other. Yes. We all got that homo beat in us. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm willing to. Man, and the crowd again rising, showing appreciation for just for what just went down here. A great day of competition, start and finish, all happened today from 2 p.m. to right now. Ah, you know, a couple minutes to 11 p.m. Nine hours <laughs> of solid JoJo's competition, and here it is. I've never been more proud to be a part of this community, man. Yes, just... and happy to have done it here with you today. God bless. Yes. Just We're going such... to have our, uh, our medal ceremony soon. You got to get your Bailey the man here to drape the hardware over the necks of the Warriors. All eight of them that grace the stage tonight. They're scoring all that material tonight, right? Those, those, those medals, man. The pr it's all part of that presentation. Such a great show we got running here. Man. Such a great show. And, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed every moment of it. Thank you again for tuning in. Welcome back to a CEO Taku. Welcome to your first CEO Taku. That's what it was. We couldn't do it without you. You at home are just as important as the people in this building. And we appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not going to say what happened nah. on screen. <laughs> but I'm cracking. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Top eight starting to congregate on the stage. I'll spare you guys the rundown. You're going to hear it in a moment. Magarna, Elon new. 3 1 finish, no reset. Reset averted. Magarna from Whole Horse to Jotaro. What a turn. And then that just stayed true throughout the rest of the bracket. Ah, Very absolutely. impressive. So nice to see the centerpiece, the centerfold, making his way right up to victory. That's right. It's poetic. Hey, you know, might have said, uh, you know, Elon got posterized. 
<laughs> mm. We have fun here, folks. Oh, we sure do. We fight hard, but we play hard. All right. Got to look up the prices on a roast pet shop. Yes. <laughs> Slightly used. But <laughs> I hope not. No way. <laughs> Slightly frozen bird dinner. Uh, so we have a, um, you know, very packed day for you guys tomorrow. So be sure to return here, twitch.tv slash Tampa Never Sleeps. Um, be sure to check out our YouTube, Tampa Never Sleeps. Uh, that's where all the VODs are going to go. So if you want to rewatch any of this, if you have the players want to rewatch your footage, you know, see what you can improve on for next time. Because uh, there will be a next time. That's Side right. of enter main. This game is going to continue to live on. But I think we're ready to go to the ceremony. So let's throw it over to Jabali. Oh, uh, to Duelist, excuse me. Shout out to Duelist, man. Hardest working man. Let's go to him. All right. All right, guys. What did you guys think of JoJo's this year? You guys keep supporting it, so I'm very happy to keep bringing JoJo's back every year. So I'll see you next year. And also, you know, I almost got us some, like, DLC announcements, but we did not. But, you know, they wanted to support, but TGS kind of stole the show, of course. But anyways, with that said, thank you so much. Let's give it up to our top eight. In seventh place, give it up to the Orb. Also in seventh place, give it up to Bunbei. In fifth place, give it up to Mad Pog. Also in fifth place, give it up to Junk Food Custom Arcades Ajax. In fourth place, no thank you. That's his name, guys. That's his name. And third place. What the heck? Rickolin Insulin. Oh, that's a good one. Give it up to third place, Rickolin Excellent. <laughs> good job, Rico. Also, all the way from Korea, thank you so much for coming as always. Alon New 13. And your JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R. Yeah, that's right. Give it up to first place. Give it up to our champion. It's just Vagarna. Simply put, it's just champion. Now. <laughs> also, shout outs to Ryan Wagner from Namco, Bandai Namco Entertainment, for sending me that extra Jolene statue to give to first place. So I thought that was an awesome gesture. Salute you can't buy that anywhere anymore. So that's a very rare statue. Enjoy. All right, guys. Thank you so much. That's your top eight for JoJo's. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We've got one more day of Sea Otaku action, so please tune in tomorrow. And everyone here, thank you. Everyone at home, you're awesome. Thank you as well. Yeah. And there you have it. Our top eight ceremony in the books. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R is settled. And that brings us to the end of the evening. That was one way to end the night. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm excited to enjoy the 24-hour arcade. So, you know, book your flight. You know, next year, CEO, CEO Taku, pick one of the family. Just show up. Um, you'll be very welcome here in Florida. So we'll see you. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, we are going to hop over to the dynamic only tournament that's happening over at Tampa Never Sleeps 2, our sister channel. So, uh, you know, from Orlando, Florida at the Wyndham Resort, I'm Admiral Funk. Dolphin Tano. Thank Happy you guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you.